Good evening, everyone. This is Pradeep Mal, Ambassador of Change from Getty, the Global Education and Training Institute from Lucknow. And we are the best training institute for teachers and for principals all over India. This has been provided to us by our mentor, Dr. Sunita Gandhi. And we have many in-service and pre-service programs. And for more information on this, please contact 740-840-1000. You are on our disruptive education platform. On this platform, we have met with and uh, interacted with more than a thousand educators from India and all over the world. And this evening, we have for you Mr. Naveen Bhargav. He's the managing director of the Aryan Vedic Maths India and hails from Jaipur, Rajasthan. He has conducted more than 500 uh, student workshops and has 19 years of experience. He's also trained uh, more than 70,000 students and teachers in the subject of Vedic mathematics. He has several records in the Limka and Guinness books of records. He is working to make maths easy for everyone. His exemplary work in the ancient art of solving maths in India is indeed laudable. He is the uh, managing director of Aryan Vedic Maths, as I have already said. He has represented India in Vedic Maths International Conference in the UK as well as at St. Stephen's College in Delhi University. Uh, he has also organized Vedic Mathematics for Thailand, for which they have recognized him. And he has also authored many books on Vedic Mathematics at several levels of education, even in schools. He will be speaking to us today on the benefits of Vedic Maths. Thank you so much for being with us, sir. And over to you. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, hi, everyone. First of all, uh, I would like to uh, my sincere regards to Pradeep Mall, sir, and uh, Sunita Gandhi, ma'am, who has given me this opportunity to uh, share with you all the benefits of uh, this Vedic mathematics. So uh, first of all, I would like to uh, come to that uh, topic, Vedic mathematics. Generally, uh, people think that uh, it is something related to only calculations. Whereas uh, my uh, experience is that uh, even most of the mathematical invention was done by our Rishi Munis. And this system is around uh, uh, more than 4,500 years old. That time, uh, even uh, India was on the top in the education. Even that was the time when uh, the Europeans were uh, not aware about this education. That time we have written these Vedas. And uh, uh, in uh, I have a presentation also there. I will show you that uh, how uh, fast uh, are these techniques. So generally, uh, there are so many uh, methods and techniques where you can defeat calculator as well as computers. So uh, this was uh, developed around 4,000 years ago and by spending uh, several hundred of years by our uh, rishis and munis. And uh, Bharti Krishna Tirthraji was the first person who has reintroduced it in the form of mathematics. Because earlier it was uh, there in Vedas, Atharva Veda. So all the texts were in Sanskrit. Now, if I will say one or two formulas like Yavadunam Tauduni Kritya Vargam Cha Yujje, okay, or Nikhilam Navtas Charvam Dashita. So nobody will be able to understand that uh, what it means for. But uh, he was the person who has converted all these language into mathematical form. So now when uh, it is in the language which we understand, so we can easily do that. And basically, he has written 16 volumes on Vedic mathematics. But uh, uh, anyhow, it was lost. 
so in the last uh, uh, years uh, he has written a single book that is known as vedic mathematics and today all the content that is available in the name of vedic math that work is done by bharti krishna tirthraj ji and uh, so uh, since then uh, what i have seen there are uh, so many courses even uh, outside india a lot of work is uh, being done just like i know few persons in uk and usa they, in south africa they are doing very well they are teaching uh, these concept from past 35 years so the reason why they are uh, teaching these methods because these are super simple these are very simple very fast even uh, as i told you you can uh, defeat calculator or anything and uh, it provides the applicability part also because all the other syllabus like cbsc state board icsc or ib all these uh, uh, mathematical portion has been taken from our that vedic mathematics only so now uh, first of all i would uh, like to show you uh, these uh, some benefits and uh, along with some examples where you can see not only the arithmetic part even all the algebra geometry all these parts can be done uh, by a very simple way and here methods are so simple that uh, uh, questions of 10th or uh, 12th standard can be done by a student of 6th student 6th uh, class who has undergone these methods so as you can see uh, this system is more than 60 times faster just like uh, one record uh, recently i have sent it for uh, guinness book uh, there we can solve uh, 100 question in just 39 second and then uh, that questions were also consisting of 2 to 7 digits if you will try to read all these uh, questions you uh, you will take uh, quite more time so and uh, it covers the major portion of class 3 to uh, 12 and even for all these competition which is considered very uh, prestigious so uh, like i told you earlier that uh, uh, people think that uh, vedic mathematics means the faster calculation and what is the meaning of calculation it is the arithmetic part okay whereas uh, this vedic maths covers the algebra portion trigonometry geometry calculus and so many other topics too now uh, these are a few uh, records which uh, nobody can even imagine that this can be done just like uh, we all undergo this divisibility test from class 3 till uh, i think 8th or 9th or 10th but there are uh, just rule up to 11 whereas in vedic maths you can see for each and every number if you want to check your mobile number is divisible by 73 or not you can do it orally this is the beauty of vedic mathematics similarly uh, in books it is given that uh, uh, we can find cube root of perfect cubes only there is no method of finding a cube root of non perfect cube whereas this can be easily done with the help of vedic mathematics one more example i would like to show suppose that you are multiplying any two digit or a three digit number say 989 into 975 the answer would be uh, 964275 now it doesn't matter that uh, how how much time you have taken to calculate this the answer should be correct but in vedic maths we have techniques where orally you can verify your answers without wasting a single minute so there are so many topics like pythagoras theorem in geometry where two sides are needed by any method but in vedic maths one side is sufficient so uh, it covers the each and every portion of algebra basically uh, in class 6 onward the student face a lot of problem they develop the maths phobia just be because of algebra because it is considered very difficult every in every class they learn different unrelated method whereas in vedic maths we use a few formulas there are 16 formulas and 13 sub formulas we just use sometime one formula sometime more than one formula and the combination just like when you multiply two numbers okay 
so uh, say you will get some number if you will divide by any of the number by which you have multiplied you will get your that division if you will find the square if we reverse the process it become a square root so the child will not face any difficulty or any kind of challenge he feel it it is very easy similarly uh, the method which we use for multiplication that is also very uh, simple way and the same method we use in algebraic multiplication so basically the child uh, knows that how to multiply the same method they are using in algebraic multiplication when they reverse the process it become factorization so and uh, this combination is not given in any of the book across the world it is only and only available in vedic mathematics and uh, here is some uh, at, uh, media coverage we have uh, like presented this in uh, several states uh, uh, right now around uh, 15 states uh, uh, we have covered and uh, now you can see uh, basically this aryan vedic mathematics is uh, entirely different concept because generally if you will ask to anybody regarding vedic maths even to some vedic math expert they will just tell you yeah we have some shortcut tricks but you know tricks are applicable in very particular cases so it is not very useful in your uh, day to day routine or in your uh, it will not work in your uh, school curriculum but in vedic maths we uh, this is designed in such a way that it covers the uh, portion as well as it provide the applicability part you can see generally it is uh, like people claim that uh, vedic maths is 10 to 15 times fast but if you will ask anybody to just show a single sum which is 10 times faster than you so i can guarantee everybody will fail to do this they can solve hardly 10 20 30% percent or double or three times maximum five times faster whereas in vedic maths there are so many in aryan vedic maths there are so many methods which are more than 60 times fast then applicability part is also there so basically my uh, target was Uh, to uh, grow these concepts because uh, the student who develop fear in their mind that can be removed very easily with the help of these techniques similarly uh, if you will learn some only some tricks so that will uh, not uh, helpful uh, in your exam or anywhere so uh, this is based on fundamental concepts uh, later on i will uh, show you some uh the techniques also so you can easily understand that how effective are these methods and how easy are these methods so that a uh, uh, question of higher standard can be done by a small student and uh, this is the reason that it is a part of uh, several school now uh, one very common uh, that technique uh, that people fail in the name of vedic mathematics that if you want to learn the table of 87 if you want to write just write down the table of 8 and table of 7 then add the middle digits now you just see if you will uh, try to write uh, the table of 87 by your uh, natural method then it is quite uh, it is quite easier suppose that you have to find what is 87 into 5 so simply what you have to do 5 into 7 35 so you will write uh, 5 and 3 carry then again Uh, 8 into 5 40 and 3 carry so it comes 43 so it is the same process so this is not vedic math in vedic math you can write answer within a line just like say you want to write the table of 79 so orally you can say 79 158 237 237 just like that and uh, it is not me that i am uh, doing this even a student of class 3 which is the beginning of uh, this vedic math that uh, student can do this very easily now i was just uh, showing you the main uh, that algebra part everybody uh, have a fear of uh, these kind of questions like uh, factorization is one of the topic which uh, starts in class 7th in icsc and ib board then in cbsc it is a part uh, of class 8th uh, onward 8th 9th and there are two chapters in class 10 
now here uh, both the methods i have mentioned you can just compare this is the conventional method first of all you have to multiply the first and last term that is 12 and 36 so it comes 432 then you have to find the factors of 432 by prime factorization method here i have shown that also so you can see even uh, this will take their uh, 20 to 30 second then again they have to uh, make pairs okay just like uh, 432 is 1 into 432 then 2 into 216 that also equal to 432 and the purpose is that uh, thereafter they have to add or subtract and they just see the middle term which was minus 11 in that case so when uh, we are getting uh, this minus 11 so in the last one like uh, 16 and 27 when we subtract 27 from 16 then we will get 11 so then we uh, do this process now see the vedic method within a line you can write the answer but if you uh, want to write it in school which is very important because something you are learning which is not useful for a school so i don't think it has uh, a little bit uh, value so basically when you can apply this in a school so here i have shown the applicability part we have a ratio method so using that within a line and orally you can calculate what would be the middle two term so all these concepts i will show you one page then two page and this three page and the half part of this all these part you can skip and uh, this is needed in school so you can see how simple is this process and uh, it takes hardly uh, 15 second to uh, score two or three marks in cbsc board in class 8th 9th or 10th then uh, this is considered the most difficult uh, problem of uh, uh, that algebra in class 9th because uh, here you will see there is a lot of process and a lot of energy and time they have to waste and uh, there is no proper method available this is called hit and trial and you know hit and trial is not a method so uh, just see first of all we find the factors of 36 then all these factors we write in positive and negative and then one by one we try to put these values so you can see this is the second page where i have uh, trying by hit and trial method then in third page i have divided then in fourth line here i have written in short otherwise here also they have to spend a lot of time then fourth page and then uh, the same middle term is splitting and then they will get the answer and with vedic maths directly you can write the answer in a line as well as if you want to write the step this is very important and i don't think uh, anybody of uh, you have uh, seen these kind of questions because this is the essence of Vedic mathematics. So uh, here you can see instead of putting 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, directly the student is knowing that uh, what value will satisfy. Since it is a hit and trial method, so you are free to put any of the value. So here uh, minus 3 is taken and uh, the student will get uh, 0. So x plus 3 would be the factor. Then they can also divide this by Vedic method. So these, these are the steps which is needed to uh, write in an exam to score full marks. This generally ask in four marks. And you can see if uh, anybody who is teaching from past five years, 10 years, 20 years or 30 years can't do this. Even they also struggle because first of all, they have to find by which number it is uh, zero. Similarly, see uh, one of the method is here. This method name is basically uh, Nikhilam Navtash Charmam Dashata. So using that method now, see this identity is uh, called the easiest method. Means uh, if you will multiply 989 into 989, uh, according to uh, them, it, uh, it will take quite more time. Whereas you can see there are uh, five steps when they are getting answer. Whereas in Vedic mess, this can be done orally. So after this, uh, uh, in the last of this session, I will show you also by some number, the number would be of your choice. So this is the beauty of Vedic mathematics that this is uh, this confidence anybody can gain. And uh, this can be done in a maximum of uh, five seconds. 
whereas by the conventional method or using identity it will take more than one minute this is another example uh, here you have to find the cube root so basically in order to uh, find its factors it is essential to use that uh, prime factorization method but we have a splitting of number method using which orally you can find uh, there are 15 times uh, this 2 and uh, 3 times 3 and then we uh, group 3 numbers and take one number instead of that so we will get 96 and this is the conventional method you can see on the left side this is first page then this is second page and in third page you will get your answer so uh, with the help of Vedic mess not only you can calculate the answer even you can verify also and not only the answer you can verify each and every step similarly this is uh, another example this is uh, in vedic maths uh, we have a vinculum method uh, using this yavadunam what i uh, told you in the beginning yavadunam tauguni kritya vargam cha yujyet that is the sanskrit name and its meaning is whatever is the deficiency deduct the same amount and set up the square so you can see by the conventional method uh, which is written on the left side it is very time consuming and difficult and there is a lot of chances of mistakes whereas in the right side i have shown the vedic method and you there are two steps and both the steps you can verify uh, there is one more method which is called the uh, easiest method that is identity you can see how difficult is this in order to find this uh, 994 cube we are consuming a complete page around uh, six lines and there is no uh, like surety whether your answer is right or wrong then this is a word problem it also generally asked in uh, four marks if you just have to answer just like uh, after few years uh, the government is planning to make uh, all these system like in iit also all the questions would be in mcq so there the uh, value of this vedic mathematics would be uh, much more than what uh, uh, we are uh, taking here so there uh, without uh, undergoing the method you can find the answer just like uh, this take uh, more than 10 minutes by the conventional method if you are writing everything and with vedic method you can find answer within 10 seconds so uh, let me show you what is the procedure you just see this is one of the page here you have to take lcm of uh, and you know the lcm and uh, then division and everything uh, related to algebra is quite difficult then this is the second page then again you will get a quadratic equation and in Vedic math, see, uh, within a line, you can write this step. And if you want to write the intermediate step, that also you can write as well as verify. Here is some uh, coverage, what uh, we have covered more than uh, 600 school till now. So we just uh, offer several uh, uh, media persons also. This was... Uh, uh, Thailand government has uh, implemented our methods in their uh, country in uh, since uh, end of 2018. Then uh, this was some uh, coverage where uh, we have shown this uh, 100 questions in less than a minute in several schools. And all the question was uh, given by the students. So this is completely transparent. Then here uh, there are so many things where uh, this was uh, another very excellent achievement because uh, here the students were from government school you know they are not uh, like good in uh, table even up to 10 they don't know the most of they uh, have in trouble in uh, table of 7 8 and 9 but there uh, are few days uh, trained student have presented so well that uh, everybody was impressed and this is the front page coverage of times of india then uh, this was uh, last year i have uh, participated this was uh, another coverage like uh, here yoga is uh, now a uh, international brand in the same way vedic maths uh, can also 
become the uh, using vedic math like uh, india can become the world leader okay so this was uh, everything about this uh, vedic mathematics so uh, thereafter i will i would like to show you some uh, presentation also okay so i hope uh, you would like to uh, so please uh, so please share the screen sorry sir please share the screen okay okay just okay yeah so first of all i think uh, if anybody would like to know something uh, more about so just let me know or if you are you have some questions in your mind so basically uh, that uh, my target was uh, since um, uh, i think uh, 2000 for i am uh, 2002 i am in this field so since beginning my target was not uh, just to uh, work with uh, these methods even uh, my planning was to uh, like uh, bring this glory to uh, on a global level so basically uh, after with the uh, uh, bharti krishna ji i have seen uh, not a single work was done apart from his book but uh, i have uh, done a lot of uh, research since uh, that time and uh, uh, this time i have uh, like uh, uh, introduced around uh, in like in our book around uh, 70% content is entirely different it is not available anywhere else so i recommend anybody to uh, go through the basics because uh, that will help you a lot as compared to and anything else so basically uh, it is supposed that algebra was introduced by uh, some uh, in some arab countries whereas if you will uh, i have a lot of uh, that article and uh, the uh, uh, some copies of some books where it is mentioned that uh, how it was transferred from india only so india was the introducer of um, according to me around uh, more than 90% of invention were uh, done in india so if anybody will uh, share a few numbers just like uh, i would like to show you some uh, live uh, presentation also for example i told you that uh, in a right angle triangle generally see in a conventional method two side must be given when two sides are known then we can calculate the third side whereas in vedic math it is not in vedic math by using one side you can say what would be the other two sides so this is very very simple and uh, so if anybody want to share any number or uh, i request uh, pradeep sir or anybody else uh, if you will give uh, me a number of uh, two digits so i can show you you can see the speed because if only one side is given say this is 17 so i don't think even uh, anybody uh, in 10 minutes can find what would be the other two sides but in vedic math we can do it orally and even i have seen so many student who learn they become quite uh, more faster than even me so here uh, experience uh, also not uh, matter a lot but sir uh, number 13 13 okay 13 now see we can verify also 5 square is 25 12 square is 144 when we will add 169 which is the square of 13 this was quite a smaller number let us take any quite bigger number of two digits 
Sir, please take one more example. Any two digit number, quite bigger number, like 48, then 50 something, 60 something, or any number. 73, sir. 73, 73. Okay, 73. Now see, first of all, this is a prime number. So even if one R would be given to anybody to solve this, I don't think anybody can find this. But with the help of Vedic maths, we can do it orally. So I am going to write the other two sides. The other two sides would be 2664 and 2665. You can easily verify 73 square plus 2664 square. That would be equal to 2665 square. Even if you have a calculator, then also even in uh, verifying this, you will take quite more time. So this is the beauty of uh, Vedic mathematics. So you can see not only uh, this number, even uh, if we are finding this square and everything, this is a very small part of Vedic mathematics. Okay, sir. Uh, can you tell me one more number? Uh, that is uh, like you have to tell me a cube if you have some uh, calculator or some device. So you just uh, multiply any two digit number like I have taken 11. So 11 into 11 into 11. That is 1331. So you have to select any other two digit number, any bigger number like 74, 85, 92. And uh, probably if you will select a composite number, so that would be better. And you just have to share me this number. You don't have to disclose this one. So here I will show you the complete process. Because process part is very important if uh, you are doing it in school or in form teacher. Okay, if you will write, write directly the answer, so it uh, may create some problem. Um, uh, some teacher may think that uh, you have uh, copied it from somewhere. So I think uh, you have got this. Like uh, if you are taking 25, so you just have to multiply 25 three times. So this would be 15625. So you have to share with this number only. 15625. Okay, sir. Can you share a number? Uh, two digits, sir. Two digit number or more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two digit number, but you have to multiply it three times. Like, suppose that you have taken 32. So, what you have to do, you have to multiply 32 into 32 into 32. Means three times that number, and then share me the answer, whatever is the. Four digit, five digit, or six digit. Okay. Right, sir. Okay. I need to use a calculator. Yeah, exactly. Till the time, I can uh, show you one more question. Uh, sir, so one three two six five one. Okay, just a moment. One three two six five one. If you have a calculator or computer, then also you can't do it this way. Fifty one. Is it right? Yes, sir. So, can you give me one more example? Uh, before it, I would like to show you one question. Uh, I think uh, this is visible to all. Uh, 1 by 17. Okay. And uh, there are 16 digits after decimal. This is the question of uh, CBSC board class 9th book. If you will ask anybody, that can be right answer from left to right as well as from right to left. So the answer would be, no, it is impossible. How can anybody imagine that what would be in the last? But we can do this. So I think one problem I will uh, solve uh, based on this method also. 
so instead of 17 i am taking 19 quite a bigger number okay because i am going to show you the decimal part so you just select any number between 1 to 18 any number any one digit number or two digit number uh, between 1 to 18 any number 17 17 yes 17 okay you're right i'm going to write you just verify it all of you can verify it on your calculator whether it is right or wrong just I don't think even your calculator, you can you can see just 8 or 10 digits or 12 digit maximum. But if you have a calculator, I think here it is quite, is it visible properly? 4, 2, 1, I think now it is visible. It is 0 0.8947368421 0.8947368421053615 and thereafter again the same number 8 will appear. Is this right? I am sure it is sir. Sir, 4565333. Yeah. Uh, four, five, three, three. five. No sir, not this. I'm giving you another number. Okay. Four five six five three three. Five three three and what is on the top? Four five six five three three. No, sir. This is the old one. The old cubes. Okay. Okay. This is cube root. Okay. Four five six five three three. Okay. Yeah. This is seventy seven. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. And I am going to show you. This is more important because anybody who claim themselves as a Vedic maths expert can find answer, but they cannot write the intermediate step, which is must in his schools. Otherwise, you will get zero. So that knowledge is. Uh, not of uh, any use. So in school you have to do this and then in place of three number you have to write one number here and then yes so your answer is 77. Okay? Fine? Then one more uh, reverse side division I will show you. Now I'm going to take a three digit number, one, two, five. And you just select any uh, four digit or five digit or six digit number. So that can be checked over uh, your calculator. So you select any number, a four digit, five digit or a six digit. So please uh, take the number yourself, please. Yeah, you, you just tell me like four, two, three, six, eight, any number, four digit, okay. five digit, or a six digit. Five, six, seven, five. Okay, one more digit. One, six, six, seven, five. Okay. Now you calculate it on your calculator. Answer is four, five, four point double zero eight. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Is it correct? That's correct, sir. Okay. Thank you. 
so this was uh, like everything about uh, this vedic mass even uh, i have another uh, that uh, book where you can see uh, these kind of questions factorization then uh, two numbers three digit number which square you have to find and then uh, it's a square root and all these kind of questions can be done with the help of vedic math the second one i have shown then actually there are a uh, few problems where uh, it cannot be shown like uh, word problem so you should have a book then only you can ask that question so that cannot be shown over here okay so you may have seen this is uh, the main part what uh, i was trying to show you is the accuracy part that uh, not a single question will go wrong i have given like presentation and more than uh, 500 is school across india and then abroad also but uh, never i faced that uh, single uh, question has went wrong because orally while writing you can verify each and every step so this is the beauty of vedic mathematics which uh, unfortunately we indians are not uh, much aware about this so uh, i am very thankful to uh, pradeep sir and uh, sunita ma'am uh who is uh, trying to uh, like uh, expand these uh, concepts so thank you very much sir for the talk on benefits of uh, vedic uh, mathematics it yeah. was absolutely riveting the way you managed to get all everything correct with a proper methodology and some of it uh, you have yourself uh, achieved so that is uh certainly uh, uh deserves a lot of kudos and uh, thank you for that and good evening everybody and uh, before we leave uh i would like you to also visit our global dream platform where we have the noble cause of ensuring that all of india becomes literate and uh, uh, uh goes into numeracy and uh, for this everybody will be required to help we have the old adage each one teach one but some of us should be able to teach many more and uh, get everybody literate so it's a very noble cause and uh, this is uh, uh, the dream of dr sunita gandhi who's been with this global dream since 2014 and uh, we have regular talks on this so for more information please go book to the same number i gave you before 7408401000 so uh thank you navin bargav sir for this excellent talk which you given us this evening yeah thank, thank you thank you goodbye see you again tomorrow bye sir